Hello and welcome to another tutorial on Nero Platinum 16. Today I'm going to show you a new feature of this program and to do that I'm going to click on the Nero Platinum 16 icon on my desktop. I'm going to click on Nero Video and I've preloaded some information on a project and so I'm going to open this project which is Nero Project there on my screen by left clicking and I'm brought to this screen and I'm in advanced editing. I can tell I'm in advanced editing because on the top left hand side of the screen advanced editing is highlighted and I have two videos already loaded. This one here is called Lakeland Motor Museum which is in ultra high definition format 4k and this one here which is called Walney Island is in full HD and to start with I'm going to choose to bring in the full HD video by clicking dragging and dropping it into video timeline 1 and I'm going to remove the soundtrack so it doesn't interfere by unlinking video and audio highlighting the soundtrack and removing from track and I am going to show you this drop down here if you notice there's a symbol for a television screen with a little drop down if I click on that drop down I have this slider and I can choose performance or quality in this case I'm going to go for high quality uh, over performance and if I then click to play the video will play and it will play smoothly because my PC has the capability to work with full HD without any issues or problems whatsoever and I can edit this video and it will still play smoothly. If your PC hasn't got the performance that my PC has then you, you would simply come to this drop down and you would slide this to whichever setting you thought was appropriate. I'm going to play it in performance rather than quality. I'm going to click but if you notice the quality of the image isn't as good. Once this has been processed and you've finished with the project the quality will be the quality that you've asked it to work in but while you're working in it the quality of the image that you're seeing on the screen here is going to be reduced but if that helps you work on your project so it can only be a good thing now what I'm going to do is remove this video from track I'm going to go to the performance setting and I'm going to put it on quality and I'm going to now drag and drop this ultra high definition video into video timeline 1. Again I'm going to remove the audio from the track and I'm just going to play this video. I'm going to click to play and you can see that it's playing very nicely, very smoothly, no problem at all. But because it's such a high data rate that I'm working with, if I start working on this material, I'm going to cut this video. I'm going to then move the video onto another timeline. I'm going to choose transition in and the transition that I'm going to use is a crossfade and I'm just going to make that a little bit longer that crossfade now when I play this video you'll notice that it will start to struggle as it's being asked to process the information and it will start to drop frames and freeze which makes it hard to work with and if I stop that video come back to the 
playback quality, if I move this to performance away from quality, then play this video again, you'll notice that it's playing smoothly. And it's perfectly acceptable imagery to be working with in its viewing window. And I'll click to stop. However, this works on my system, but if I was doing some very complicated editing, it would then still struggle, even on my computer. So there is a workaround for this. And what you have to do is come up here where it says options and you click on the dot drop down top right hand side of the screen you select application and settings and click choose editing and click come to this box and highlight that box and this will enable Nero background rendering if I then click OK what will happen is that on this part of the screen here in a short period of time a symbol will appear and it's telling me that Nero background rendering is now 1% 2% now it'll take a little while but when that gets to 100% I've already pre-rendered that information and it will play smoothly and I can work with that information even on a computer that hasn't got a particularly good processor. I hope this information has helped you and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.